Also, I guess there's rumors circulating now that masks and mandates are coming back oh this my fall. Gosh. Yes. I mean, there are they are trying to push that again. They're yeah. they're trying <laughs> to bring it all back. Well, yeah. Um, I, I know your favorite news source is Alex Jones, and mm. and he was saying uh, late last week that he had spoken to two uh, federal employees that said, "Yep, it's uh, we got a new variant coming out." Uh, out of Canada, it's going to be used to implement uh, further lockdowns, mask mandates, stuff like that, the TSA, all sorts of good stuff. I, you know, I, I would not be surprised at all. And, mm. in fact, at the same time that that was making the rounds on social media, I was being contacted uh, from a padhead in Syracuse, New York, sent me an article saying two local hospitals are back to requiring masks. Uh, and then, of course, she wrote, uh, aside from the obvious ridiculousness of this entire situation, they're allowing administrators who have their own offices to choose not to wear their masks when in their offices. Apparently, viruses don't travel through the halls and air system. <laughs> and then I had another message from a padhead in Charleston, South Carolina. Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, Keith, I listen to Pat Gray Unleashed every day. I'm an engineer at the Volvo Cars plant in Charleston. They're making us wear masks starting Monday, today. He says, that's absolutely crazy. I just wanted you to know it's coming back again. So here we go. Hmm. Here we absolutely go, man. And and you've got still Rutgers demanding that their students uh, get the vaccine. Uh, before oh, yeah. They, I mean, this yeah. is, you can't, don't, don't let them do this to you again. No. No. I think people will be fighting back hard against this. This is, it's not going to go down well I with the American people. It's just not. I, okay. I hope. I, I think, I think we're done with this stuff. Okay. I hope you're right, brother. Got a telling video here, uh, making the rounds, <laughs> people is, conforming to mask mandates. This is out of some, I don't yeah. know, maybe, I, I don't know what country this is from, but this All is right. very entertaining because mm-hmm. just watch the people in the background. They absolutely are conforming. Mm-hmm. I just hate this. <laughs> <laughs> So he's in on it, okay? You're not wearing your mask, right? This guy's like, uh... I don't know. Is this Russian? What is this? I gotta go get my mask. Now watch behind him. Watch these people. (laughs) On with their mask. Yep. All right. (laughs) Yep. Look at him back there. Don't hurt me. Mask or gay? It's for all. Yep. Doesn't take much to uh, have him fall in line. Mask or gay? Oh boy. Sure does not. Mm hmm. Look at this guy. I gotta go. I care. Unbelievable. It's absolutely depressing. <laughs> yep. Seeing human beings react like that. Yeah. Well, nobody wants to be hit with a stick, I guess. I mean, that's a fair point. (laughs) (sighs) So, yeah, on with the mask and uh, and leave me alone, okay? We've told you. I represent science. Yeah, you do. Little elf. We've told you, I mean, the Biden administration's not giving up. They're still actively working to get masks back on planes. In yeah. fact, that was part of the timeline that's been circulating is that, you know, it's like, uh, I think it was a government employees mid-September. Uh, what was it? Uh, flights mid-October. Is that right? And then, of course, wait till you hear this clip from uh, Dr. Dr. Naomi Wolf. Oh. Mm. Uh, she says it's not just masks Mm-mm. coming back soon. Check this out. Hmm. Dr. Naomi Wolf. And, and apparently the computer that plays the videos. Oh, is that down now too? Is is now is a uh, good twin brother of the uh the computer of the Blaze that runs Media the app? feed. Okay, good. No, you gotta see this. This is terrifying. I mean Do we have it? I, I don't I don't know when I have an update, Pat. Mm. We might want to take a break and come back for it. Okay. But uh be ready because if you think the government is done screwing up your life. No. Or well, at least attempting to. And we have an election coming up. What? And oh, wait, what now? What could be better huh. than to make everybody go back to the way it was the last time they won? Uh, do you think that's not in their heads right now? Yeah, we got this clip. You want to see this? All right, right let's oh see it. Oh, my gosh. 
what's creepy about this sudden everywhere um, narrative that there's a new variant in town. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's not your last variant. You need a whole new thing to deal with the new variant. Um, And if you read these news articles carefully, and they all read like they were generated by AI, but if you read them carefully, (laughs) there was one we just tore apart in our local Salem, Massachusetts newspaper that basically admitted there there really isn't a spike and didn't Mm. come up with any real numbers. They said something like there are Two, two new cases two. per 100,000, yeah. and they referenced a community oh, that has only 22,000 inhabitants in it. So they're imaginary an numbers. And again, mm. you can't check them. It's the same problem I highlighted in The Bodies of Others, Natalie, that you can't see the data sets. You're not allowed to see the data sets. You can't verify this claim that there's an uptick. What is an uptick, right? How do you define an uptick? Um, You know, the uptick is the theme music before what comes later, which is the surge. How do you define a surge? You can't check any of these claims that there's a new variant in town um, that's different from the old variant. You just have to take their word for it. But what is very notable is that in June, an Uh. FDA panel, I just want to remind you, and this is via the brilliant and amazing Amy Kelly, in June, an FDA panel unanimously voted to recommend that the next round of vaccination in the U.S. be approved. So these vaccinations aren't approved yet, but Hmm. the committee that recommends vaccines Mm -hmm. to the FDA for approval has already recommended them, and they're expected to be approved by the FDA and available just in time by next month. So you've got one month, if you're marketing this new product, (laughs) to whip up fears that will then drive people to take this new untested, untried um, product into their bodies. Wow. Jeez. That's terrifying. And and Russia, by the way, claiming that this is our government, our our perfect government, Beautiful, lily white, wonderful government. Uh, Russia is accusing of uh, uh, the U.S. is preparing for a new pandemic by searching for virus mutations. But <laughs> come on now. The United States government would never do that. No. Screw your freedom. Thank you. <laughs> and we've talked about this whiteboard that's in the basement of the White House where, where you know that they have a timeline and they have markers on it. Mm-hmm. And so this is exactly what's happening, yep. especially in, just what in time you just for said, the election. The election. Yep. Yep.